11 legs late to the next break of throw in the game and indeed Bruce Bradley the referee it is I conquer game on which way now may well be if it goes eight apiece although it won't be announced at that particular time but we know that from there it's got to be one by two clear legs it would be announced at nine apiece 94 94 please 91 beautiful adjustment by Dudbridge notice no lateral drift perfectly controlled third missile beautiful use of the lie Johnny oh yeah what a leg this is isn't it just it's really really boiled up into a very very keenly fought contest with real quality with a capital K 100 I remember Dudbridge is the man who's been two nil up in sets on Phil Taylor in a world 100. final all right he lost gets his nose in front here yeah, he can stay there not saying he will but it's out Absolutely fan dubby dosi darty. Fifty-nine. Why do you require one hundred and sixty-seven? So one six seven can't do it now, but make a hole in it, and the chance of breaking Tubridge's throw will still be alive. What a great last start Mark to leave himself on seventy-four. A must this for Dudbridge. Trouble 14, no, went the harder way. Given that lie, I think it was maybe the wrong second shot. Maybe, maybe. When you request well, I mean, just did a trouble 20, fancied another. Now, Mardle will be going for tops here for 8 7. He's got the throw. 34. So, chance gone. Dudley surely will now go 32. ahead. For the mockers on himself there with lie in the middle of the bed, should be left or right. This for the green bed. Oh, yeah, yes. Dudbridge goes ahead in the match, 8-7. Fantastic sport here in Blackpool. You've had your fill of cricket, had your fill of golf. Sit back with a biscuit and a brew, because this is sporting excellence. Yes, talking of the nine darts, of course, perhaps the most famous nine darter in history, the 100,000-pound nine darts on this very stage. Rubber. I suppose the very first ever has to be uh, John Lowell's back in 1984. Phil Taylor's the first ever live on television. £100,000 was six years ago, Sid, August the 1st, 2002. But the quality in this field right through the first round suggests that, yes, it could be done at any time by anyone. 45. And two weeks ago in Las Vegas, me and Rod Harrington take the winners pick the runners and riders out of hats and I'm not saying we, we were guided by anything but some of the matchups I mean we might well see a nine daughter some amazing matchups lovely dart 59 here we go locked up first attends the winner but he's got to be too clear he doesn't like trying that wiggle shot around the marker. But the only 45. man who can do that now is Phil Taylor, who's breaking the laws of physics. Just watch him. And he's out him tomorrow against Pete. Taylor can now make the dart turn sideways or upwards against gravity. Not a bad dart, that. Notice, John, no lateral drift. That could be the difference. Brilliant dart! The very best perfect spot to put it. And Dudders did. And Mardle is a worried man. You could see from when he was standing behind Dudbridge before. Since he hit that 171 to leave himself on 32, uh, although he didn't actually go on to win that leg, Mardle has hit little, and Dudbridge has improved his game uh, considerably. In fact, Dudbridge now is by nearly five points on average is better than Mardle and if Dudbridge wins this he will surely go on to win the match that's right Mardle hitting little Dudbridge hitting large where the lads once graced Tommy and Freddie yeah, in Blackwood 
Goodridge. I don't think he's going to miss. He needs another 60. 100. Didn't get it. That's Marcus not West enough 70. pressure because Doodridge can go to the hill. Needing one. Fat 20 in tops. Open bed as well. Beautiful light to the right. He and left it to the right, which Martin didn't do last time. That was a brilliant single. He used it as a marker. Clever! And Martel, I'm not saying he's gone to pieces, but uh, he certainly isn't the player he was 20 minutes ago. Four legs in a row now have gone to Dudbridge. And Martel, who was having little problem holding his throw, now has lost throw two services, if I two serves rather, if I can put it that way, on 26. the trot. And now, frankly, his game might well have gone to the dogs. There's that drift again to the five. And the only service looking like now for win is the Requiem. 60. He's got it all to do, as John just set up. Blocks the bed, gets the cover, needs another to have a hope. 96. Just misses it. Well, you remember at, uh, at the point where he was 7 6 up, I, I was saying it's easier said than done, but he knows all he's got to do is hold his throw. And he hasn't. He's lost his throw twice. Dudbridge has held his, and the game has just turned completely around. I did say earlier the coloured lines attack on the 60 wasn't that sophisticated. Them last two darts of Dudbridge were brilliant in the 60. The model fans tense, but Dud is not drifting anywhere. Clever line. 177. Absolute brute. Force Ben Nuggle in the solar plexus, a model. Yes, it is. He's uh, been ahead Martin throughout Martin most of this game, Wayne Model, but in the last 15 minutes, Dudbridge has hit him hard, looking for a 14 darter here for a 10 7 victory, double three. And Model, he might burst this, Sid. Surely. No yeah, he burst it knowing that Model can't finish and he'll go back to 24. Has to get a 60. No, needs another 60. 100. That Martin was a quiet desperate. He should have moved to get a better lie to the left of the marker for the match. Mark Dudbridge. It's a perfect lie for an under dipper. He's got under dip, but he's got the flight to worry about now. He hit the flight! He hit the flight! Well, you, you really thought Dudbridge would have hit that. Now then, double ten for Marble for nine eight. This yeah. day, 